What is up everyone? Today I'll be picking my NFL team. Wow guys, this has been a long time coming. I've been I've been so wary of picking a team because I don't want to regret it. You know, I could pick a team now and three months in I'm already regretting it. So um I had to take my time. Like I said earlier, um I already followed the NBA. That was the only American sport in which I followed before I started this channel. I started watching the NBA in 2009. Um, at that point, uh, Kobe Bryant was winning his first title after after Shaq left. So that was a very, very important title for Kobe fans like me. And the um, 2010 title was like the, one of the best feelings I've ever felt in terms of sports. You know, Kobe winning that back-to-back -back title. And, um, and I wasn't able to watch the game. Um, even now, I, I can't... I, I, I don't have any access to watch games, the American games. I, I only, I'm only able to watch highlights, check the scores, you know. And due to the time differences, due to the time difference, most of the time when they play these games in, in the US, these games is about about 2 a.m. where I'm from. So um, I don't get to watch these games. I only see the score line and see the um, the highlights the next day checked the um, score line and uh, found out that Kobe, um, the Lakers won game seven of the NBA finals and that was I was so so ecstatic I felt so ecstatic about it and it's one of the best feelings I've ever felt when it came to sports and um, that was how I started following the NBA and to be honest I've, I think it took up to like 2015 or 16 before I even tried really understanding a lot of the game and the funny thing is I'm, I'm still learning which is funny that is 10 years after over 10 years after so so concerning the um american football this is going to be a long road um i'll probably see be one of those novice fans you know you know in soccer i see some of these americans trying to start following soccer now and um some of the opinions that they have can be very funny and naive if i would say and uh, that means I'll, I'll probably start giving naive opinions now when it comes to American football, you guys could probably banter at me and laugh at me that I don't know what I'm talking about, which is going to be fun. So one of the things in choosing this NFL team, I have to be attached to a player. I think I have to be attached to a player. And so I considered all that, the player, the team, uh, the allocation and all that. And thinking about Kobe, when I was following Kobe at that point, immediately after I won that second title, of course, the next season, we we're all hoping for a three-peat that they materialized and um, things went from bad to worse. The Lakers made a trade, gave away their future. And thankfully, they put a lot of protection on those picks. Put a lot of protection on, the, on, on those picks. Those, so those, some of those players that, that those picks were used to pick was used to trade for Anthony Davis years later. So at least they were smart. But unfortunately, the current uh, front office are all catering to LeBron. That's why the fact that people are saying they're not doing enough for LeBron. I don't know what else, I'm, how, how much help he needs. You have the team giving giving away picks, players, pick swaps. I mean, without protection, no protection on the picks. Ridiculous. It's really asinine. And um, uh, they also made a trade, traded a lot of things to get Westbrook. All of a sudden, Westbrook is not good anymore. Who would have thought? I mean, a ball dominant player with another ball dominant player, how was that going to work? So it seems the quote unquote good wants more help. And you, may, and you may be asking, why am I even talking about all this? The reason why I'm talking about this is that automatically there are some teams that I'm not going to pick because I don't want to pick teams that um, are in cities that put pressure on them, if I would say. Unlike in soccer, where players are just bought with money. So if you have the money, if you are in a big city like New York, Los Angeles, and you have a lot of money, you can just buy players. But unfortunately, in American sports, it doesn't work that way. For you to get big players, you have to give up your future to an extent. So I don't really like that because um, I'm just picturing a situation where the Lakers didn't have protections on those uh, picks that they used to trade for Grandpa Steve Nash at the time or Bart Howard. So um, I don't really like those kind of teams when it comes to American sports because I don't want supporting a team that would be 
give me away their future for some hopeful second round exits because that is that is the highest that the Lakers are going to go this season. If they like, they'll probably, which I think they'll probably cave mid-season, give up um, the remaining picks that are possible to even give up, and they'll now end up giving up their future for some second round exit. So, so I got my list here. Got my list here. I really, I was really, really thorough. I'm going to mention the teams and also list reasons why um, I may not pick. The reasons why I'm picking or may not pick. And guys, this video is probably going to be long. I'll try to cut a lot of it out because I don't want it to be too long. I would have preferred this to be a live stream, but um, circumstances have made it not to be possible for me. But um, I'll try to make it as short as possible so you guys, I don't want you guys to be bored. Um, the first team here, we have the Arizona Cardinals. Um, the this this thing was mentioned in the video that i watched for the, um, the guide to choosing an nfl team and um i like the star player kyla more seems seemed like a nice guy um but i don't like the team i just don't like the team i really um arizona uh you know i know a lot of states in the u.s funny enough um i've never really of course i've not gone to any of these states i've never left my country so i may have a bad opinion of the, of the states that i may not i've never gone to but um from the outside looking i've just never liked arizona i don't know so i guess that cancels out the team because of the fact that i just don't like the states for some reason i don't know i don't know why i don't like the states if you are from that state or if you stay there don't take it personally i just i just don't feel like supporting a team that is based in that state the next team here is um the uh atlanta falcons uh, I read about it. I made I did some research, and and I found out that it's an ex, a, a recently like it's an expansion team. Uh, I don't really love that. That seems like a team that is kind of too new for me. At least that, at least that is what I understand by expansion team, right? If you're an expansion team, you know you're kind of new. You know, you just create, they just created you. That's what it means, right? So that's kind of, that's too new for me. So that is crossed. The Baltimore Ravens, yeah. This team has Lamar Jackson, and um, I heard about Lamar Jackson before I started this channel, and um, I watched the highlight video of Lamar Jackson, and I fell in love with Lamar Jackson. I, I love the way he plays. I love the athleticism that I see, and um, the way the team is. I kind of like it, to be honest. I kind of like the team, but they're in Baltimore. Not really sure. I'm not really sure. I don't really, I, I don't really like Baltimore like that. From what, at least from what I hear, I don't know. Just, don't, I just don't know. But I'm going to pick this team as one of the final teams that I'm going to decide from. So, um, th this team is not totally crossed. I'm going to revisit the team, in the final part of it when I pick the team. So, at the, at the end, I'll probably have let me like I'm not. I think seven to eight teams remaining out of all the teams so the baltimore ravens is part of it just because of lama jackson the next the next team here is the buffalo bills i mean too much losing culture bro too much losing too much losing how the hell can you lose four super bowls straight that is crazy that is that I like i mean that is that is too much and i'm someone that hates losing in finals i hate that I rather you, I rather you get knocked out early. I don't like losing in final. I hate that shit. I really do hate it. So imagine losing, three, what? Was it three straight or four straight? I think four straight finals. Four, four straight Super Bowls. That is crazy. That is that is too much losing for me. So cancelled. Carolina Panthers. This is one of the teams that is going to be in the final list. Um, you, you may ask me why I love the team. Uh, um, they're in South Carolina, and uh, there's this governor that I used to see on the TV that I, I used to like every time they talk about her, Nikki Haley. So, I mean, that's that's that sounds stupid, right? I mean, there are so many reasons someone can like <laughs> like a team. So, this is one of the reasons. This is just the reason for me picking this team as yeah, picking this team as part of the final list. So, because of Nikki Haley. Carolina Panthers makes the final list. 
The next team here is Chicago Bears. Uh, guys, you know, I hope to be able to um, to make enough money in future that I can visit visit the United States and come and um, watch a, f a football game, watch a college football game, watch other games like that. And I really want to visit the city that the team I'm supporting is re resides in. And um, I don't want to go to Chicago because every time I look at the news, Chicago shooting here, shooting there, shooting here, sh sh shooting there. Guys, I'm from a country that the only places I see guns are with the police. So, uh, too much guns for me. So, Chicago Bears crossed. The next team here is Cincinnati Bengals. Guys, this team is crossed because I just don't like the name. That is it. Finish. I mean, I, I, I didn't even do any research. I just looked at the name and I, and I didn't like it. So, crossed. The next team here is Cleveland Browns. Guys, I don't like Cleveland. I really do not like Cleveland. Maybe because of LeBron. I, I don't hate the guy that much, but I just... He has left a bad test for me when it comes to Cleveland. So, Cleveland, any Cleveland team, crossed. The, the Dallas... The next team here is the Dallas Cow Cowboys. This one, from that video, from the video that I watched, what was said about this team already made me turned off. I mean, like... They look so pompous to me. <laughs> Everything is just so pompous. I don't like it. And um, the guy in that video compared it to Real Madrid, which is my soccer team, which is not this is not the same thing. It is not. I disagree. From what I saw, no, of course, Real Madrid fans can be very, very pompous. I said that. But um, no, 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 no. I can't support this kind of team. So the last Cowboys cross. And also Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith hates them. So. And I love Steven there, so that is enough as well. The Denver Broncos. This team, I did the research, and it seems like they have too much losing in their history as well. I mean, they said they, sh they shared the NFL record for most Super Bowl losses. I mean, that is too much losing for me. So, uh, when you when you when you have a record for the most losses. I mean, in anything, I just, I, I can't ban my gun on that. So, Denver Broncos crossed. The next team here is the Detroit Lions. This team is going to make my final list just because of Barry Sanders. I loved the guy's highlights when I watched it. If you have, if you have not watched it, check it. Um, I think I'm going to put it right now for you to go. And, no, don't click it now. Click it at, at the end of the video. Thank you. So, oh, Detroit Lions make it the final list. Scott Scotty of... Paris Sanders, Green Bay Packers. Um, they also made the final list as well. I love what I saw from that video, what was said in that video about them. Fan owned, great history, rich history. And uh, it's the kind of thing that I love, kind of thing that I loved, uh, that, that I love on a normal day. So they made the final list. Next team here is Houston Texans. Texans. Is it Texans or Texans? Or whatever. They have never appeared in a Super Bowl. Mm -mm, not interested. The next team here is Indianapolis Colts. Uh, I just don't like the name as well. Um, Colts, Colts. I, 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 I don't like it. it. Sounds like Colts to me. So <laughs> I know that is a stupid reason, but I'm trying. I'm trying to choose one team out of 32 teams, guys. This is hard. So what, whatever reason I think of that comes off my head. I'll pick it. I'm sorry if you're a fan of this team, but I just don't like the name. The next team here is Jackson, Jacksonville, Jackson, Jacksonville Jaguars. Right? Okay. I mean, in that video, it was mentioned that they could be moving to England. Now, one guy told me in the comments that that was just a rumor that it's probably not happened. But like I said, I'm trying to pick a team here. So just hearing that alone, the fact that it was even mentioned in the same sen sentence with the team, Trying to move to a different country. Cancelled. I don't want. I'm not supporting that. See, the next team here is Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. This one we made the final list. Um it, it seems like they have the next goat right now in Patrick Mahomes. And um they also one of their legends was also my Nigerian brother, 
Christian Okoye. So they made the final list. The next one here is Las Vegas Raiders. Um, see, going back to that video, the stadium looks very nice. Um, the culture, I like that kind of culture, kind of rugged kind of culture. Um, uh, they're also in Las Vegas. Like I said, I want to visit the city that the team that I'm supporting. I want to visit this one day. And Las Vegas is the place for sin. And I'd like to commit some sin. So, they made the final list. The next team here is Los Angeles Chargers. Any team in Los Angeles, not picking. That was the reason why I went through that, um, the intro, talking about the Lakers and, and all that and all that. These teams that are in these cities, the pressure is too much. Fans don't even want to go through some rebuilding phase. Just want to be, they want, want to just be giving out the picks, giving out, and maybe probably maybe it's not the same as the NFL, but just from my experience in the NBA, New York teams, Los Angeles teams, Miami teams, no, not interested. Same goes with Los Angeles Rams, cancelled. Miami Dolphins. I, I thought of it not making the final list, but I just love Miami. Like, I've never gone there before, but just from what I see from the outside, I love Miami. So, I would like to visit there. So, if the team that I support is there, I guess I could consider it. So, they made the final list. Next team here is Minnesota Vikings. In my experience in the NBA, Minnesota Timberwolves are one of the most losing franchises. And uh, I don't know how it is in the NFL, but just the fact that it has Minnesota in the name, not interested. The next team here is the New England Patriots. Uh, guys, this team is cancelled as well. You may ask me why. They have won a lot of Super Bowls. Guys, this team probably will have the Michael Jordan course. You know what that means? All their six Super Bowls are with Tom Brady. Same same way with the Chicago Bulls, the same thing. So, um, I don't, I, I just feel like they will have that, my, that kind of good course, good level, good player course. You know, when one player is, is only one player that made um, that team to be relevant, and then the player retires or leaves, the team is dead, kind of. Now, the, it's, the teams will always try to do. Good, they will do well from time to time, but they will probably not win. Um, they could still win in the future, but I mean, I don't want to wait. The next team here is the New, the New Orleans Saints. Well, from, us, from the outside looking in, I've never just liked the uh, New Orleans. I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me in the comments down below that I'm crazy, that this is the most beautiful city. I guess so, but I just don't like the city. I'm just, I, I don't know, from just, just from things I hear, I hear things like uh, the city with the most mothers and all that and all that. You know, and it's not like I'm coming, from a, I'm coming from a cakewalk country or anything, but I'm trying to choose a team out of 32 teams. So any reason that I'm thinking of, I'll use it to slash a team out. So, New Orleans sends out. The New York Giants, the next teams here are the New York Giants and the New York Jets. No New York teams, so slashed. The Philadelphia Eagles. <sighs> Guys, I read the, I read some of the things. I didn't see any player that I recognized. Uh, I'm not really that enamored about Philadelphia, to be honest. Uh, so really nothing for me. I didn't really see anything that made that would make me to like the team. Not like I hate the team. I just didn't see anything that um, intrigued me. So. But they made the final list. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, this team, from the video that was made that I watched, they said it's like a working class uh, kind of team. Like, you know, working class fans, working class everything. And that was enough for me. And also, one of the first um, pe people that um, tried to pitch their team to me pitched the Steelers. So that is enough for me for them to make the final list. San Francisco 49ers. Uh, I checked the I checked the uh, whatever uh, rundown of the team. I didn't see any player that I recognized or liked, and um, just didn't see anything to like about the team. So the next team here is Seattle 
Seahawks. Uh, um, they make the finalists. They have an okay history. And they also have this guy called DK Metcalf, which I watched a video, one of my earlier videos about the uh, athletic freaks in, currently in the NBA. And the guy is a beast. And just that, uh, I, I, I'll put them in the final list. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady is playing there. I really don't want to support Tom Brady right now. He has won too much. So, slashed. The next team here is uh, Tennessee Titans. Uh, I just didn't say anything that I liked. I checked. Didn't see any player that I recognized. Didn't see any player that I liked. Just didn't say anything that I like, I like that intrigued me about the team. So, I, I couldn't pick it. Washington Commanders. That is the next team. Now, they also didn't make the final list. I think this is the last team here. Um, for, the, for, for, for the one reason that Washington just seems to me like a politics city. So, uh, I don't really want to support a team that is in the political capital of the United States. I know, guys... Some of you may be um, furious right now, like you are supposing the team that I slashed out probably will be saying, what the hell? You don't know this, you don't know that, and which is fine. But guys, you have to understand, I'm trying to pick a team out of 32 teams. So I'm going to be looking for any kind of reason. I'm almost like a 10 over 10 girl right now, trying to, you know, sieve out all the guys that are, you know, trying to um, woo her. So, um, you know, if I just see, if, if she just sees a guy's nose is too big, the nose is too big, nah, the eyes closes too much, nah, uh, the ears are too big, nah, you know, so I'm like that, I'm, I'm feeling like that right now, so uh, it's tough, it's tough, so I had to look for any reason possible, anything could just make me not to be interested in a team. So now, to the picking of the team, we have... So now let me let me go down the the list of the teams that made it. We have the Baltimore Ravens, we have the Carolina Panthers, we have um, Detroit Lions, we have Green Bay Packers, we have Kansas City Chiefs, we have Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be tough, man. We have Miami Dolphins. We have Pittsburgh Steelers. And last but not the least, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Wow! Guys, this is funny because I haven't decided yet. I'm deciding it's live on this video right now. So, recording this video probably took like two to three hours because, um, and I'm probably still going to be thinking why, rec why, rec why the video is still recording, which is, uh, crazy um i didn't i wanted to choose the team on the spot i didn't want to have more time to think because i'm just going to keep dragging it and dragging it and dragging it so, so these things have made the final list so i'm going to pick the team while on the uh, while on video right now i don't want to go and do more research i don't want to waste too much time so It's really unfortunate because um, in soccer we have different countries in Europe. You have the Premier League, you have the Spanish League, you have the Italian League. So I could have easily done like, okay, my English team, my Spanish team, my Italian team to make life easier for me. But every all the teams here in the US. So this is this is really really tough. It's really really tough. But I'll probably still pick my main team. Then I'll see I'll see some teams that I'll still have soft spots for. <sighs> this is tough. So concerning the teams I'm going to see have soft spots for, they're not going to be my team. I've made my decision. They're not going to be my team, but I'm going to like I'm going to support them if they're not playing my main team. I'll support them if they're not playing my main team. So whew. the first one is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I like the team, I like the concept, I like the whole working class, you know, theme to the team. 
Um, and the fact that, you know, I just feel like I would like to raise, I, I feel like I resonate with those kind of people, you know, to an extent. Um, so I'll have a soft spot for that team. And um, the second team that I will have the soft spot for, I will be supporting when they're not playing my main team, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders. Guys, just the fact that they're in Las Vegas was all I needed. That's it. I want to visit Las Vegas. So, uh, just that reason. Uh, you know, I'm a sinner. So, I want to commit some sin. Any day I come to, to the United States. So, uh, just by that fact alone, Las Vegas Raiders have my soft spot. Now, to the final and to the team that I'm going to be supporting in the NFL. Wait for it, wait for it. Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Guys, you have to know that you have to know that, that was coming. You have to know that, that was coming. Patrick Mahomes. Christian Okoye. Ah. That, is, that was all I needed. Um, guys, that will be my team now. The Kansas City Chiefs. So you can start the banter down in the comments below. You know, start telling me how shit they are. Uh, that is fine. And uh, I'll, I'll try my best to return the banter back to you. <laughs> and um, it's going to be a very nice journey. And I hope to have you guys with me in this journey of um, exploring the NFL, supporting the team, you know, and... Um, also bantering with you guys that would really be fun and um i plan on picking my baseball teams and my nhl teams in future when i feel like the time is right um so guys i hope that was a nice video i i'll try to cut as much as i can out of it because i don't want it to be too long um but thank you guys for watching i really i really i, I really really appreciate you guys joining me on this youtube journey i'm just some guy in africa you know and um you guys are giving me a chance from across the pond and i'm really really grateful for that i'll see you on the next one take care peace